Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to read out Saving Faith, part number five. And this was posted October 28th of 2019. Saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come, and worship Him that made heaven and earth, and the sea and the fountains of waters. Revelation 14 Verse 7. Noah did not mix the soft, pleasing deceptions of Satan with his message. He did not utter the sentiment of many of his day who declared that God was too merciful to do such a terrible work. Many asserted that God would grant the wicked another season of probation, but Noah did not indulge them in the faintest hope that those who neglected the present opportunity, who rejected the present message, would be favored with another opportunity of salvation. God means that men shall not only love him, but that his fear shall be in their hearts. Noah's faith was mingled with fear, for it is written that Noah, being warned of God, moved with fear, prepared an ark, for the saving of his house. His faith intensified his fear, for it was no cowardly fear that moved him. He dared not suppress the words of God for fear of men, or withhold his message in dread of the consequences that might result because of the opposition and hate of the wicked and unbelieving about him. He knew the power of God and realized that God would fulfill his word. His fear of God did not separate him from God, but served to draw him closer to him and to lead him to pour out his soul in earnest supplication. There are many who at first received Noah's message, but the fear of men was greater than the fear of God and they turned away from the truth of God to believe a lie. As time passed on, and reproach and ridicule were heaped upon them, their hearts failed them, and they did not bear the test. It is the testing time that will measure professed faith and assurance in God. Courage and integrity cannot be estimated rightly by men, until the day of trial puts them to the test. And that is the end of the devotional. I pray this blesses you. It is definitely a timely devotional in the times that we are in today. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you next video or in the air. Bye-bye.